The opposition parties pitch themselves as offering Singapore a fallback should the PAP fail. It sounds plausible, but if you think about it, what does it depend on? Most critically, it comes back to talent again. If the PAP can't assemble a second team, I don't think the opposition will find it easier to do that. You look at it from the micro view. Consider a capable person weighing his options. Trying, he wants to serve the nation. He's trying to decide how to do it, which way he should go. And he has two choices. First choice, join the opposition, oversee the PAP, but really spend his life, and can be quite a long time, waiting and watching just in case the PAP screws up, then he'll be ready to take over. The other alternative is join the government, help it to make better decisions, implement good policies, and avoid making mistakes and screwing up. Now, which makes more sense for him and for Singapore? So, I think for all these reasons, I think the best thing for us to do is to concentrate our resources and form one really strong Singapore team. Some people will want to join the opposition. Yes, they'll want to propound alternative policies or they'll want to be a check on the government. That's valid. By all means, join the opposition, especially if the government is wrong or incompetent. But so long as the government is competent and doing a good job for Singaporeans, I hope you will make common cause with it and help us to ensure that things stay right. <laughs>